Having gone through the experience meeting Jen going to this pitch fest, what advice could you give other screenwriters on meeting a filmmaker and pitching their script? You know, it's no different than being a photographer or a director. You don't have an opportunity to explain yourself. It's either on the page or it's not on the page. Now, if I had met Jen and she was quote unquote difficult <laughs> just at the get go, I probably would have never even read the script, you know? So I think having a little bit of communication skills is a gift in that regard. I also think, you know, stereotypically, I'm not, a, I'm not like the stereotype. I'm open to uh, collaborating. And if you find out right at the beginning that the person isn't, uh, here's a great example. A woman um, who, uh, Bethany again, found me a wonderful script about um, uh, bigotry and uh, the challenge of uh, working with skinheads. And it was a really, really well-written movie. It was also uh, a play. And I had wished, in hindsight, that I didn't spend an hour on the phone with the writer when they said, oh, one thing I forgot to tell you is I have to direct this myself. Oh. <laughs> so I felt, you know, that that was something that should have come out in the first 10 seconds. Because yeah. to me, you know, um, it's not uncommon for a screenwriter to say, I don't want anybody else to direct this but me. I, I only produce movies that I direct. And the outcome of it is, is that, you know, I've learned that lesson now. <laughs> Right. So then if, if that is a requirement or special requirements, mm -hmm. like I want very little edits done, to right. get I that would, out would, right away? I would pass, yeah. I mean, it's just not worth it. There's too many. The, the independent film business is so uh, convoluted with waste and waste. And then when you finally get to execution, here's a wonderful example. Um, my other producer, Will Newman, who helped produce this movie, uh, he, he was like, uh, um, you know, the, not just an incredible collaborator to this movie, but he was the hatchet man in a positive way. He would come in and say, no disrespect to Jen's material, but she's got 56 characters. And he knew right away, bingo, that that was going to translate into a, uh, a portion of the budget that was disproportionate with what we had. And w what does that mean in English? The only affordable amount of characters we could have, in his opinion, was between 20 and 25 characters. And I know that sounds crazy, but any independent filmmaker is going to come in front of the same moment that I came in front of when you go, do you really need that character to walk in the door and go, hey, you got a phone call? That character is a SAG talking actor, and that's going to cost you X amount of dollars, and you put 40 more of those in the movie, and you've made a movie that you're not going to be able to afford. And it's crazy, and you know, I know that you're interviewing me about creativity, but if you can get this stuff off the table before you start talking creativity, you, you'll have, you know, in my opinion, a more controllable project.